Hello, this is King of Review, and we're going to be using the zero product property. And we're going to try to solve for this equation. Well, this is a case where we have another no one number and another number equal zero. So we're going to have to set each of these numbers equal to zero and see when this equation would equal zero. So we're first going to set up n over 2 equal to zero. And also we're going to think about when z squared minus 9 is equal to zero. All right, so when is n equals 2 equal to 0? Well, if you multiply 2 to both sides, we're going to get n equals 0. So that's when n is equal to 0. And what about z squared minus 9? Well, if we add 9 to both sides, we're going to get z squared is equal to 9. And if we take the square root, we're going to get z is equal to plus or minus 3, right? So be careful with that. But these are going to be your answers, which means A is your answer. Now let's look at each of these op other options. Option B says n is equal to 2. Well, when we plug in n equals 2 to this equation here, do we get a 0? No, we don't, because all it, that's going to happen is this n over 2 term is going to turn into a 1. So this is wrong. The same reason for C this is not going to give us an equation that equals 0. What about d? Well, it says z equals 9. When we plug in 9 to this equation here, do we get a 0? No, we don't. That's why this is wrong. So just by plugging back the values into the equation, we're able to determine if the answer is correct or not. So for this question, the answer is a.